It's late. <laughs> Hi, we're Livia and Robbie, representing our project here and Premier School, of course. And uh, welcome to our working space. Yeah, we met in the studio. We we um we met, we met and then we had like we share ideas and we had a good connection. We start doing some stuff together. We just uh, it's a test to see how it goes. So it went went pretty cool. And from that moment, we decided to be uh, to make this project uh, called Evie and Robbie. And then that 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 was it. From that moment, we start producing together. We didn't have so much hardware. Uh, we always wanted to to get stuff on the way. And that was also a good motivation, you know, like everything comes from the music, where you just give it back to the music. And it was more uh, based on uh, on software and combined with, with few little things uh, that we had at the moment. And look around now, it's just a part of our studio and it took us a long process to, to, get, uh, to get along the way. We are really excited about a, a new Eurorack modular that we want to build. We have a small book lab for the moment. We are excited because there are different components from different producers, so they all kind of sound different. And it's um, it's on, on our plan, for sure. Um, I don't know how long it will take, but... We're gonna invest some time in this. We don't know when we're gonna finish, but it's really, it's gonna open a, a new gate, and we already know about it, but we didn't want to just jump into experiment on the... Uh, experiment and to the experiment in, in modular, so we want to cover the basics, and then we're gonna thinking to extend the book line, whatever it comes in. Um, and of course, a lot of uh, processing for like uh, uh, external processing on, uh, on and mastering as well. We wanted to expand this, the, the studio as, as much as possible in all the ways, you know. The first studio we had was a dark place in the basement. Uh, so it was cool for a couple of years, but then obviously it was too much, you know, too much basement, so we wanted to move. Um, so we have like an open space, um, natural light during the day. I think this is quite inspiring. We're gonna do, a, yeah, we're gonna build a new studio. Yeah, and not only a place like just to sit and make beats and music and just working on a track. We can like just uh, have a break or working in a mastering or now developing that that kind of that kind of area, a place where you, know, you just can feel comfortable just to listen music or just play music and invite people and other friends yeah. to come. To come and uh, and just join join together. We had this idea to make a collaboration album, and then we hook up friends um, to make tracks together. And it's really interesting because we didn't have a chance to, to meet each other and to make a track together. It's interesting how this uh, whole thing via internet can develop. Like we do some some stuff, and then you know our friends doing something on top of it, and then it comes back. Project comes back. It was interesting to work to work like that. We never we never did it uh, before. So um, yeah, it was it was quite a good experience, I would say. Well, the main technique that is really attractive to us is to uh, jam. So we kind of jam and then see where it goes, and then we kind of cut as an arrangement. We leave it as an arrangement. We are not really into going back to tracks, you know. I mean, if, we, if we're not sure about a track, we don't finish. Maybe then it means it's not really yeah. proper, and then we kind of never get back. And in, it's never a, like an open experiment. We just like not doing something just to try it out. We we start with the bass. We know we know it's, we know it sounded good, you know. So this is how we continue to to add things on on the way and uh, bring everything in but it's not just like okay let's see how this is sounding and then maybe we, we put out the stuff or no we know what we have and then we're just going with uh, with that changing stuff on the way but uh, at the end of the day the track is done you hear like this this is not right and this is you have to change it's like we don't even have to tell to each other because you hear it and after all this time you just know is the right or not or you want a different color or you want to put it in a different time or it's like this kind of stuff yeah but this comes with time i mean in the beginning of, of course we could not realize so fast if, if the track is good or the loop is right and then yeah immediately we can tell like okay this, this is good this we can work work on sometimes you just get inspired if you watch a movie or you hear like a cool soundtrack or um, being out, outside in the city, maybe something is inspiring you. 
also in a plane sometimes you are just with headphones and laptop and maybe you want to do an edit and yeah everywhere i think it's cool to to be around music and you know cut something or to you know, create an idea i think it's cool to try a new machine on every track like to start with new machine because it gives like a different angle uh, to the whole production process so depends like today i can start with a swing of pad on a old roland and then tomorrow is you start just with a beat and then a different day you just start with a tweaking with a modular i don't know stuff like that but no we don't we don't start always with the same machine for sure i try to avoid that no it's totally random you don't know where to yeah, start it's with, like oh just play with the same clap and put it different way and <laughs> just like then put a kick and then change stuff I don't know, whatever it comes, it just seems to fit. I, I, I kind of find escape in, a, in a old cameras, photography, like developing pictures and uh, having a dark room. I like to do that when I... I mean, I try to you know, keep the creative process alive. <laughs> or watching movies, I like to watch movies as well. Yeah, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, there are times when you get blocked and stuck, you know? But um, it's not staying in the studio, I have to say, it's not really necessary to make a track. Just yeah. play and learn. And there's so many so many features that you have to know. There's so many new stuff and so many routing that you just like, oh, this filter you know, with that and put it in that effect. I'm waiting, meeting in a, in, a, in a plane and just like, ah, oh, you know, but what about this and that, what about that and that, I'm gonna change this. And okay, I was like, Changing this and yeah, do a new patch. We, we get excited. Do a new set. <laughs> this what about that? And then it's like the idea is coming like this in the head. And then when you come from the gig, you don't. You just want to go straight to the studio. When we produce this premieres, George is involved, so he's bringing his own his own stuff uh, that he likes. He has a selection of gear that he prefer and he uses. So we kind of go on that direction. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that George starts and we finish together. So it's cool that he comes with a, with a new vibe. Like we kind of give, sometimes we give him the vibe of doing Premiesco stuff. We want to change, change um, equipment when we play live. This is, this is what makes a difference, you know, yeah. on, only this. Because when we play live, we have, we created for, in the beginning we created like a, our own stuff, you know, usual stuff, but really modified. And this were the difference. Happen. But in the studio, we kind of use what we have, you know. The album took us like eight months, eight to ten months, and uh, it was a long process, you know, because we had to go through the summer as well. And a lot of, a lot of friends, a lot of uh, artists, they go into Ibiza, they going on tour. It's really difficult, you know, to just uh, catch them on time. And this is how it was back and forth until we kind of have it, you know. And um, now it seems like everyone is happy, uh, so ready to go. Uh, normally it can take, if, if we all have the people here, maybe it would not it take that easier, much yeah. time or, you know, but it's yeah, pretty it's fast. Because for... you, have to, you have to catch everybody in different, you know, different place, different mood. I don't know, if they're not free, they have a gig. And they have it's to make quite their own music, music as well. And yeah. Oh yeah, about the project, oh yeah, yeah, can you send it to me again? Oh, the link has expired, and I'm gonna do some things, and of course. It was quite difficult to but put everything together, but in the end, it yeah. worked. But it was know. a very nice collaboration, and yeah. very interesting. Um, we were enthusiastic about that, and yeah, you know, nobody wants to let the track uh, go down. We didn't change artists on the way. We said, this is, this is us, this is what uh, we're gonna do the album, and uh, yeah, let's do it. And, and it worked uh, perfectly. And most of the artists that are already part of uh, this Solat label, well, we used to, to to play with them together and be our colleagues. So this is how this I like it, and um, 